So hello. It's for you, Gemini. It's for you. Okay, so I pulled out this sound codices. Sound codices. Okay, your sound codices. But anyway, what it's saying, sound codes, that's how I want to say it. But anyway, what it means is, it said, uh, hang on, I want to read something to you. Uh, Similar to the way a natural seed functions on your planet, these built-in codices of sound are seeded with highly sacred data that houses the blueprints of creation itself. Sound is thus a carrier of data, and when truly understood and fused with intention, it can give the human an innate ability to imprint all creation through prayer. And then it says, uh, by engaging in song and prayer, the human is then given an ability to reshape existence by sending sound codices via prayer to all aspects of life. Uh, sing to the birds, sing to the sky, sing in thankfulness for the trees, and sing for the gratitude of your soul for this gift of life that we are all blessed to receive. This powerful act can alter your entire field and open you up to experiences one never thought possible. Humanity is slowly beginning to open up to the potency of sound by using it in a medical practice to diagnose and heal many forms of disease. Although these sound healings were applied by many past cultures, its renewal has shifted back the focus of sound into the forefront of your future. We encourage you to be this sound shower and let all of existence receive your codices through your prayers and song. So what it's saying is... <laughs> Listening to them sound frequencies and just music is helping raise the vibe. See how it looks like zzz, it's helping. It's helping all humanity. <coughs> That's all it means, you guys. Hang on, I ain't use these cards for nobody, okay? So you're all lucky, Jim and I. I didn't, I didn't use nothing, okay? I didn't use these with nobody else. What do we need to tell Gemini today? That the storm field's coming. Look, they're sending a tornado to your house. They try to tear it plumb down. Maybe you're not life page number nine like me. 228. They're trying to come tear it down. And maybe, look, 929, you're seeing, you're seeing secret velocities all the time because you're, you're coming to life. This is the real you coming out, okay? And they're try they they think that sending this chaos to you is going to tire you up. That's all it means. So you need to listen to those sound frequencies uh, on YouTube, like I told y'all about them. The healing sound hurts, like listen to that 432 hertz and shit, uh, and it helps. It's not shit. It's good. It's good for all of us. Oh, and this is talking about a one ring circus. You're just a one ring circus, huh? <laughs> Look, it's like you're all by yourself and you're good with it. You're on top of, you placed yourself on top of that rock. You and your elephant. Look at her. You're good, baby. That's why you're coming to life and if people start to notice that you're a one, you're a one, you like doing things by, by yourself. And, oh, something about Golden Palace. So maybe you are getting ready to receive a golden palace, but you've got to go through the dragon's lair first. So, maybe 23 and 19 is important. There's you some lottery numbers. 9, 29, 15, 23, 19. And can we have, and 41, and 41. So, you're going to have to go to the dragon's lair and confront somebody. Can I have some of these green cards? Some of the other green ones. No, not these. The other green ones. These. Oh, God, are you? Oh, God, are you? Hang on, you guys. Dragon's 
Oh, look here, looky. Divide feminine. Look, divide feminine, Gemini. Tenderness. You know, you just know what true love and compassion is. Uh, you're very magnetic, and you got receptive power at the moment. Ooh, divine masculine feels it is a zzz, zzz. You're receptive, and you're allowing all this wisdom and spirituality, number seven, to pour on to you. And number nine, maybe he was born in 1979, and if he was, hit like and subscribe. And that's all that it means to you guys. Hang on, let me finish reading this. So it said these sound codes that you've been listening to helped you uh, to build this new creation. This this is an innovation. This is something that you've built. Uh, and, you know, uh, that's why they're trying to st send storm fields and chaos and maybe an actual tornado towards your house like they did me. <laughs> but anyway, during this Lionsgate portal, you you had infinite mind. You, you Your conscious was awakening. They didn't understand number one they didn't understand and uh that they that that that's not gonna be able to happen to you because you're coming to life they can't stop you they tried to stop you from coming to life but you're someone that knows how to calm the waters in a bunch of different situations especially if you're like me and look number three jim and i that's what you do this is peaceful self-regulation uh you you love being by yourself because you're peaceful that way that's why you like being a wandering circus. See, you place yourself up our year like, I'm good with this. I want to be right here doing this for all humanity. And, uh, you know, because you're building your world at the moment. That's why you had to be a wandering circus. Look, number 33. Look, 333. Look, and it landed beside each other. It landed like that. 333. 333. Three, three, three. See? So, anyways, uh, this is about your creations and... You expanding your consciousness. You're starting to network. Oh, maybe you're expanding your business and going to start networking with people. And you might have to uh, relocate to another place. That's the way I'm reading this. Golden Palace. And and something about this is this is your fortune that you built yourself, and you're gonna have plenty of wealth. Look, Kali Ma. Kali Ma. She got four damn arms. She can do anything she wants. And, you know, she went to the dragon's lair. Kali Ma said, I'll kill you. I'm Kali Ma. You went to the dragon's lair and uh, you said, Come on, old devil. I'll fight you. You want to fight me, you son of a gun? Yeah, I'm going to pull your ass out of and I'm going to show you who I am. I ain't scared. See, right, right, number 19. Or maybe your partner's birthday is on the 19th. Oh, and then we have the shamanic journey. This is talking about, this is your purpose. This is about you, uh, this is attunement. You're on a vision quest. It's about you repenting for your sins. You're on a shamanic journey. Looky there, and I just, look, look, look. This was in another reading, and I was like, hopefully I'm finding it. And it was right there, and it says, you're connected to horses because you used to break them in and train them to be with your Indian tribes. See, you did. You did, and I love that I did this. I never knew this, and I just connected these cards. But Spirit told me to write it one day, and Spirit said, there you go. You're supposed to read it for Gemini. I love y'all. Hit subscribe. So maybe you're an Indian, and you found your purpose in life. That's the way I see it, okay? Let me tell you something else. What else is something that uh, Jim and I need to know today? What else does Jim and I need to know today? What else does Jim and I need to know today? Or what What does Jim and I want to say today? And I have a stepson passed over, and uh, Alan, and he was a Jim and I, and he gives me messages sometimes, you all, and if I feel he give me a message I'll let you know okay so it's telling you you're building your world you know it says you're you're this is about your innovation your new creation uh, you 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 know how to 
work with those numbers, the portals that we have when it aligns up with the calendar. And that's how you figure out how to calm these waters in, in this networking job you're doing. And that's how you're going to be abundant. And, and, and this is your purpose. Your, your purpose. Tan Tan just went by. Oh, abundance is coming to us. Remember? And what else do they want to tell us? What else does Jill and I want to tell us? What's Jill and I wanted to tell us? What's Jill and I wanted to tell us? What's Jill and I know? What's Jill and I need to know? Or want to tell us? Oh, it showed it again, you guys. It showed it again. I got Jill and I, me too. Yeah. Oh, what else? Okay, so I got y'all a bunch of messages now, you guys. Just like I did the other signs, okay? And this might be all that I do, y'all, because it takes me a while to read them. I don't know. I'll tell you in a minute, okay? Uh, oh, excuse me, spiritual burps. Spiritual burps. Oh, and something about you need to quit thinking with your penis. So, there's some Gemini out here, man, that needs to stop thinking with their weenus. Or, somebody, you're all coming here, inquiring all, they just only think with their weenus, okay? And something about they only do, they worry about their weenus and they're doing voodoo on you. They just want to do sex with you, stick your pins and needles if you don't do nothing with them. That's fucked up, ain't it? And you're somebody who is mature. This is about maturity. They tried to steal your property. Oh, Gemini is letting me know. My son knows and over at that house that he died in. And my old cousin, I told y'all, stole my fucking house and let it get sold at the courthouse because the goddamn whore was too too sorry to pay me my motherfucking rent. I only asked her to give me $150 and to put it on the taxes and a whore lied and didn't do it. So look, you try to steal my property. Oh, Alan's getting ready to tell. Oh, now Alan said, don't worry, the feds is getting involved. Oh, feds got involved. And feds is getting involved with people that's doing voodoo on me on the internet and trying to steal and roll over credit cards. Let's see if this really gets out. Uh, but the law, it's okay, because if the feds is involved, then they can look at everything that we do. You, me, and you piece of shit that is trying to rob off everybody on the fucking internet. You're going to get it. Oh, you can do it. They thought they could keep doing voodoo on you. And, and you're mature and you're teaching these narcissistic parents that they, that was trying to steal your property. They somebody out here. I don't think this is me, but this could be people that you looked up to as parents. But they, they got the feds involved and, and now they're seeing that they you also had voodoo done on you. And that people was trying to steal your property. You got enlightenment. You got enlightened to this 1313. And Archangel Metatron, it is considered the highest of the angels in Merkava and Kabbalist mysticism and often serve as a scribe. Maybe you're somebody that writes about this. Somebody that writes told the feds and that person all they do is think with their wiener that person that's all they was thinking with their peter that was it they didn't they didn't really love you it was just they wanted to give you penis and you might not even want this person oh they did voodoo on you <laughs> they they thought they could keep doing voodoo on you and steal your inheritance no you're not it's on it's on, it's on recording right now you can't steal it fuckers you can't steal it get off my internet voodoo idiots uh, yes, I know how to be mature, and, and, and I'm teaching my children about how all this narcissistic traits and abuse from all these people in our life, mommies, daddies, uh, sisters, aunts, uncles, all these old grandma and grandpas, they got to change their way, and don't act like y'all don't want me. I don't want you, did you hear that? <laughs> and, uh, and, and I know I don't want you people that stole my property that I got enlightened to a long time ago about. I've always been here throughout many lifetimes fighting to keep our love strong. Leo, this is my brother that died as a Leo. See, he'll man, my son, is telling me a message. 
they're on their ass. <laughs> My spirit team will get all these people back. <laughs> hit like, subscribe if you agree and you want your spirit team to take out people. Hit it, hit it right now. Hit subscribe and hit the bell and hit all. Hit that little triangle and you can look and scroll and you can see everything I wrote about this video. If you hit that little triangle right here, triangle, if you hit it and you scroll down, you'll see what all I wrote about this certain uh, video right here. And you'll see, sometimes I attach another video, but if I didn't, it don't matter. Go on my playlist. I got a lot of videos. Oh, and something about put your protection up because the magic is coming. We knew it. Oh, we knew it. We got enlightened to it. I just told us. What, what about me? Did you forget about me now? Oh, it's a person that thinks with their dick. There's like, are you, did you forget about me? Oh, no. Did you forget that we got the feds involved? Oh, it, did, did you forget that they did voodoo? No, I didn't. You attract money easily. You're attracting an inheritance, and they're trying to steal it and do voodoo. And your love life is being affected by others in your business. Yeah, yeah. Could be these narc parents. And all they know how to do is just to run, run with a crowd, and they can't do shit on their own. You got enlightened to these people that was throwing magic out on you. They can't do nothing on their own. There's no comparing with you and these people. There's no fucking comparing. Uh, this is some older slut. <laughs> some older slut is doing voodoo on you, trying to steal your inheritance. Uh, and you're mature, and you know this, and you're putting it out online. And only they're only going to be remembered for their fat ass is all. So this older woman, uh, uh, is, and she might have slutted around and... She knows that you attract money easily and she's trying to steal your inheritance and you can't. Like a moth to a flame. I'll tell you every time on you all I'll tell on you. Oh, you can't do it. They're guilty. This woman's guilty. She's guilty because you're mature and you're building your wealth, Aquarius. So, Gemini. Look, Gemini, my son give another message for me. Look, Aquarius is me and we're doing this. We're building our wealth. Building wealth. That's what Aquarius is doing. We got a lot. That's what we're doing and Hidden desires stay, can't stay hidden forever, people. People that got the feds involved, they can't stay hidden forever. Yesterday, it all started. Yesterday, they feel guilty because they put some voodoo on you. Oh. And today's Wednesday, so you'll probably see us reading on Thursday. So, yeah, that would have made sense to me. Yeah. 17, 17, 88. The devil has no power over me. I'm mature. Sociopath. There's a sociopath around. Yeah, Jim and I, my Passover son's warning me. Uh, it, that's this is it's a mental health condition where somebody persistently has difficulty engaging properly with the social norms. This is a lack of conscience and empathy and disregard for rules and the norms and impulsive and aggressive tendencies are all common traits of a sociopath. These traits make a person more likely to use, exploit, or harm people. They're dangerous people to allow in your life. They have no emotions and they never cry. They have intense anger. That ain't me. I cry on here a lot. Something about that sociopath is getting ready to go to the hospital. Because all that voodoo they did on you, the feds is calling them to kick their fucking door in. Ah, feds is because they's trying to steal money and your inheritance and they're guilty as fuck. And somebody needs to go get their business license and start your own business out here. It's watching me. It's what you need to do because you're mature enough. And, and you need to stay in isolation when you do this. That's the key to a business. And karma is coming for you now. Voodoo man and woman at the hospital. It got feds involved. It's all coming back to you. And I can lead people to their own demise. So they better watch out or I'll bring the whole shit show down. That's what I'm saying. That's what Jim and I are saying. And uh, I and we're, we're it says I'm not your concern, honey. I'm not your concern. Quit being worried about people that that stay attend to their own business. But people's like that. Have y'all ever noticed people act like there's more concern with me and my marriage? That's why I had to quit you all. They was you'll see in my readings. That's all I'll say. It says please, can we start things fresh and leave the past behind? Uh, no, we can't. I couldn't say goodbye. It hurt too much. This is Divine Mask one telling y'all is. They couldn't, uh, they just couldn't say goodbye. It hurt too much. Don't worry. Somebody's going to rise to the hospital. Someone's getting beat by their karmic husband, and he's not really in love with you or anyone. So somebody that's watching me is getting beat by a man, and they ain't in love with you or anyone. They're a sociopath. It just told. 
Now, I don't get beat by my old man, but I know one thing. People that gets beat out here still to this day and they're living this present energy, that person is going to, the karma is coming and their ass going to the hospital. And if you, you, you're you still with somebody, like if you're married to some man and they used to beat you, but, I mean, you know if you help put some of that beating on yourself. I'm not for women that don't, can't own up. I know I did a bunch of dumb shit every time. All I know is some, sometimes people can grow from this. Yes, you can. And I'm not in this energy. That's all I'm trying to say. So I don't know who this is, but somebody is guilty for all the shit they've done to you behind the scenes. And Rice getting ready to go to the hospital and you're getting ready to have an inheritance. And nobody's going to be able to steal mine over here at Pound Star Oracle. I tell you right now, you're not going to be able to because you're going to go to jail. All right, if you're trying to steal. Let's see who's trying to steal. Who is it? Gemini, son, help me. And my brother, Pisces over Scotty, help me. Who is the people's name? Spell out the people's name that's so guilty of what they all did. Who is the person that is so guilty? Spell their name plain as day for everybody to see. X, X, V. They're in resentment. They're calculating. Elf, X, V, Elf. Please spell a name, Spirit. Exhibify. That, that doesn't spell nothing. It still don't spell nothing. Are you? Are you? B. Oh, somebody wants to rub you. Are you B? Remember, all they do is think with their penis. You need to quit thinking with your penis and rubbing it all the fucking time. That's what spirit's telling you right now. get out some vowels so I don't have to come back. A A O U O I throw out a T E there's an I I got an S I think I already did. I'm gonna throw out another S. Alright, and a D. I didn't have a D. Alright, that's, that's all I'm throwing out. Alright, so what are you trying to spell to us, Spirit? What are you trying to spell? I got out all the vowels I needed, you guys. Oh, and let's see. Set. Oh, set. Set your eyes still, it's telling you right now, because it throw it out in a line. Set your eyes still, it said. Don't you go nowhere. Set still now. This is about, you know, your reciprocity, communion between equals, your personal attractiveness. Sit right still. Don't you go anywhere. That's what Spirit's telling you. Okay. What, what are you trying to spell, Spirit? Spell it out so I can see it. Here's what it said. This come out the other day too. Set still. Spirit's taking them. DNR, do not resuscitate. It said it the other day. Karma's coming. Remember, they gotta go to the hospital. Karma's coming. Bye bye, it said goodbye. They couldn't say goodbye, it hurt too much. Somebody might be passing away and it's sad. It's sad and some people likes to fuck with you when you lose people and I've lost a lot and y'all don't gonna mess with me I tell you right now because I've had to deal with so much shit I ain't even told it all <laughs> I have and, and I know I'm a much better person and spirit loves me and takes care of me and my family 
and my bank account that people think they're going to get in and they're not going to be getting in it. Trust me. What are you trying to spell, spirit? Spirit. Hang on, let me put these letters together and tell Spirit to spell an and see if it will. Spirit, when you spell, I ain't gonna put that X and Z in there. I'm just gonna put all these other letters. Spirit, can you spell the name that you're wanting it told on to, on to the world? You, you set, U V. Sit still. Wait a minute. U. U V B S. Bus. Somebody is setting on a. Oh, I think I know what it means. Sit still. Hang on. Where's it? Don't have a T in here. Spirit said they're busted. Look, I'm using the D over there. B U S T E the D for this do not resuscitate. They're busted. They're, it's saying do not resuscitate them. Spirit sees everything that everybody does, what they don't understand. What else do we need to know, Spirit? I, I seen what you wrote. Busted. A A V. Maybe you know somebody whose name's A V. They're busted. AV's busted, it said. See, look. If you know AV out here, they're busted. AV. Oh, and something about CAV. And you know whose initials M is? My great, I mean, my grandpa. My grandpa at Paste. Oh, I love you, CAV. I know who you are. I love you. I know who you are, Papa. I know who you are, Papa. And you died when I was 12, and I love you. And he said, I couldn't say goodbye. It hurt too much. See, see how Spirit loves us? Look, my papa was saying I couldn't say goodbye. It hurt too much. I love you, papa. He was in the hospital. I remember papa. And you was a good papa, and I love you. And he spit out another A. A G. Oh, I love you, son. I love you. I love you. Spirit's real. It's you. It's showing you right now. It's showing you right now how much. Sit still. They're letting you know how and y'all need to believe me. That's my stepson that died. His initials. And this is my papa. And K K O. I love you, Spirit. <laughs> K R. Maybe y'all know somebody whose initials is K R. I don't know what it's spelling right now. <laughs> or Rick. K-R-C. I don't know who that is. Crack. Sit still. Don't crack. That's what it's saying. Don't crack. See, that's how Spirit spelled it. Don't crack. C-R-K. Don't. Don't crack. Something's going to happen. Sit still. Don't crack. It said do not recess. They can't. It said do not resuscitate them. This is what they're wanting. Are you listening? What else? Oh. They owe you. Look. Look. They owe you. They owe you is. Somebody owes you is. I love you and I'm so grateful for my Spirit guides, it helps me. I don't know what 
that lead spirit. What? Joy. You're a J O Y. <laughs> That's what my name means, sweet as honey joy, Pamela Gale. That's what it means. You're a joy. <laughs> I love you all. And look, I don't know what this means, but this sounds funny. Like, it seems like something that my papa would have said. Like, come here, piffy wiffy. I don't know what it means, but it sounds like that's what... I don't know what this means, you all. Maybe this is for somebody else out here. What's this mean? P-I-F-F-Y. -F -F I don't know what that means, you all. But you, I will to look it up here in a minute when I'm done recording. But piffy. I don't know what that means. I think it means you've had an epiphany. How much spirit's real. Because they show you. They show me right now. I love you, spirit gods. And my grandfather passed away. That's my favorite Bible. I don't know. I loved him. And I couldn't see him. He was in a hospital whenever he passed away. And he was in Georgia, and it came a bad snowstorm. It was in 1993. Do y'all remember in April, that bad snowstorm had come on the East Coast? And that's when my papa died. And he looked pitiful, you all were. They let him lay. He and my son, Alan Hill, they, they both look they both look bad, you know. It, or they had to lay long and do autopsy and stuff on my son. <laughs> Something about H L L. Heal. Maybe uh. Maybe you got an epiphany. You're supposed to heal H L L. Heal. Heal humanity. This is ex you're being accepted into the hierarchical order. Okay, that's what it means. All right, we'll pass these. That's all I got for you today. So remember. Remember that the devil has no power over you out here. The devil has no power over you. And it said, Spirit said, I want you to sit still. Okay, sit still and don't crack. Don't crack. You've had an epiphany. That's why it says piffy. You've had an epiphany. Uh, you've had an epiphany. You know that it says, Spirit knows that this person or people, they owe you. They owe you. Uh, and, and they're busted. They're busted, okay? And it says, do not resuscitate. So, spirit is going to take somebody, okay? And it says, uh, it says, C-A-V and A-G. They might be the ones doing this for you because you're a joy. So, spirit. Somebody's spirit guides is saying they don't foresee this happening to somebody around you. You're a joy. And these people cannot mess with you. You're building your wealth is what it said, okay? But uh, I love y'all and that's all I got. Uh, I hope it helps somebody out here today because it helped me that my ancestors come. Peace. I love y'all.